Are you a fan of the actor Tom Cruise? Have you seen the movie Top Gun Maverick? Did you know that Tom went to greater extremes than the gun pilots when shooting the film? Did you know the movie Tom described as the most challenging movie he has ever made? Would you like to know this and more? Then sit and watch this video till the end. First up, what does director Joseph Kaczynski have to say about Tom Cruise's fast course run in Top Gun Maverick? Top Gun Maverick is, of course, Empire's 2022 great victory. Featuring some of the most remarkable aerobatic action scenes ever made into a movie, it proves the most thrilling, deeply felt visual experiences in years, particularly in IMAX. In the last decade, Tom Cruise has taken his distinctive touchline as a death-defying stuntman to unbelievable heights of daredevil insanity, hanging down from buildings and swinging from planes. However, Maverick's central set piece proved too severe even for him. Ace Navy pilot Frank Walleye Weiser flew the 2 minute 15 second example run of the course that the pilots must finish, accomplishing their earlier initially assumed impossible mission, which Maverick ends up going rogue and completes in a confiscated jet. Nonetheless, Cruz was on board the plane. He wasn't about to miss out on the ride. That is the most absurd thing we shot inside the film. Director Joseph Kaczynski informs Empire, it's all captured on camera, Tom Cruise at 550 knots, 30 feet above the ground through the Toyabi Canyon limited trading grounds. That's a classic Top Gun maneuver, yet they never fly as low as he does. While I approached after they managed to land and ask, did you get that? Yeah, I believe we did, I said. Good, because I'm never doing that again, he said. And what about Cruise? He would have done it a hundred more times, Kaczynski exclaims. I keep smiling because when I view that sequence, he's clutching through the G's, but I understand he's grinning for most of it because he's enjoying the time of his life. It certainly caught our attention. Now let's explore. Does Tom Cruise live up to the title of his Top Gun character, Maverick? Many actors invest so much of themselves into the characters they portray that they are nearly impossible to distinguish in terms of character or expressions. Similarly, there are characters whose sole existence is to remind you of the actors who portray them. Tom Cruise might not be as good as Les Grossman or Le Stade de la Cour, but he certainly lives up to the name of his Top gun character, Maverick. It's been said that Tom Cruise puts his life in danger for our recreation, and he may be acting in ways that every logical and reasonable individual would view as strange death wishes. From his Mission Impossible acrobatics to increases in danger to his clear mission to outdo the Fast and Furious movie and Alfonso Cuaron's gravity by shooting a movie in space. The extent Cruise went to for his speedy course in Top Gun Maverick exceeded even what professional pilots do, so it appears Cruise Cruise had all the preparatory work he needed to venture into space in the surprising greatest movies of the year. Up next, what movie does Tom describe as the most challenging movie he's ever made? The actor was still in hand to publicize Mission Impossible, Fallout, as the components of Paramount Pictures' presentation, in which he was joined on stage by Angela Bassett, Henry Cavill, and Simon Pegg. When E! News spoke with Cruise on the red carpet, he couldn't stop complimenting his co-stars. He described the new addition, Bassett, as a power powerful artist, while Cavill is a dedicated professional. What about Peg, his longtime Mission Impossible collaborator? I like to refer to him as Six Pack Peggle. He's got an incredible eight pack going on, he stated. He's almost as good as eight pack Peggles. I work with individuals I respect, and I'd like to work with people who are both fun and diligent. Making Mission Impossible is a difficult task. They're the most difficult, says Cruz, who reprises his role as Ethan Hunt in the film. This is without a doubt the most difficult film I've ever created. He added, since it's producing, acting, and we perform all of our action work. These guys are insanely talented, he exclaimed. We're having a good time. We work extremely hard. And now we have what are some of the amazing facts about Mission Impossible Fallout. This is Tom's sixth appearance in Mission Impossible Fallout. In reality, however, I feel like Tom. I get to play Ethan and perform some things Ethan does while being smarter. The first installment, released in 1996, was also Cruz's first film. I went to Paramount Pictures and people asked me to direct or produce and I sat and waited, he explained. At the time, from 1966 to 1973, it was a television series and folks were like, what are you doing a TV show for? No, no, I said, 
I will remake it into a major motion picture from a Cold War TV series. You only keep hoping that it will translate. He didn't need to be concerned, as Mission Impossible is the 20th largest film franchise of all time. I have such incredible memories, Cruz said. It was an incredible experience for me. Cruz does not appear to be any older than he was in the first film. When asked how he stays in such good shape, he lit his million dollar smile and replied, I have no idea. I'm not sure. Finally, what do some fans and co-stars have to say about Cruz? Tom remains at the top of his game years after popping onto the Hollywood scene in the 1980s, having sailed back onto the blunt end of the blockbuster in his fighter jet for Top Gun Maverick in May. And despite being the topic of headlines throughout his career, the man is cherished by fans and his co-stars. So we've sourced the subway archives for Tom's former colleagues, from Andrew Garfield to Simon Pegg and Rebecca Ferguson, to get their opinions, uh, ramblings on the man. What does Andrew Garfield, his co-star in Lions for Lambs, say about him? In a section from Metro's 2019 press conference with Spider-Man star Andrew, he discussed his realization since working with Tom. It reminded you of your first restaurant experience, a Hester Blumenthal 17-course creature. What should I do now, I wondered. I need to continue working with all those folks at that level. Well, I've been pretty spoiled, and I'd like to stay spoiled. I think it positioned me. I'd like to continue working at that level. Claudio Miranda, the film cinematographer, did a Tom Cruise and stepped into the cockpit before the actors aboard Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jets equipped with IMAX-grade cameras began experiencing real G-forces during the filming of Top Gun Maverick. The Oscar-winning Life of Pi director of photography spent months testing cameras and experimenting with in-cabin rigs in an effort to find the ideal fuel of innovation, accuracy, and creativity to show the sensory impact of intense aerial flights on the human body. Years after the first Top Gun, he intended to put the audience in the pilot seat like never before as Cruz's Maverick took to the skies once more. In order to prepare his body and mind for the real thing, he strapped into the same L-39 Albatross jet that cast members Miles Teller, Glenn Powell, and others trained in. Miranda chuckled as he recalled his own flight missions and added, I just went four Gs, and that was enough for me. Coming up next, what does his co-star in Mission Impossible, Sarah Ferguson, have to say about Tom? When asked if she's friends with Tom and messages him, she replied, Genuinely, I text Peg, Simon, a lot. We're great friends. How long has it been since I texted Tom? I'm on my phone, so I'll look. A month ago? However, we communicate via email. We keep tabs on one another. When I finish something and he sees it, he says congratulations, and I hope he's taking a break every time, which he rarely does. He's very much in between or effectively shooting movies, but isn't that his vacation? His holiday is tied to something extraordinarily high or shallow. How about Simon Pegg? On why Tom Cruise will make a movie in space, Pegg told Metro, I had joked for years that the only way for the next Mission Impossible to top the last one was film it in outer space. Tom Cruise is clinically predisposed to 100 percent it all the time, so if there is now a chance for him to shoot that movie in space, he will do it because, my god, everyone would see it, and you can bet it will be amazing. Finally, what does Tim Peake, who worked on Tom's movie set in space, have to say? I was sort of assisting out on the initial periods on that, he says, about getting inspiration from the actor. That will be difficult regarding logistical issues and what can be accomplished on the spaceship. I often joke that Tom Cruise's early career foreshadowed my life's path. When I was younger, he was a huge hero to me. When Top Gun came out, I was 14, and I'd already been traveling in the cadets for two years and was utterly hooked on aerospace. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you got some information out of it. Let us know in the comments section. Also, let us know if there's anything you feel we should have told our viewers. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching.